this video we're going to look at spelling strategies. These are the things to keep in mind when spelling. In this presentation we'll look at how to approach learning spelling and how to apply strategies to learn and spell words. Learning off spellings will help us become better spellers. However, it is important to remember that learning off spellings is only part of being a better speller. The first thing to do when learning anything is to be aware what your learning style is. Knowing what our learning style is will make our learning more effective. There are seven learning styles. Visual. You prefer using pictures, images and spatial understanding. Oral. You prefer using sound and music. Verbal. You prefer using words, both in speech and writing. Physical. You prefer using your body, hands and sense of touch. Logical. You prefer using logical, using logic, reasoning and systems. Social. You prefer to learn in groups or with other people. Solitary. You prefer to work alone and to use self-study. It is important to remember that most people have a combination of learning styles, not one exclusive style. If you download this PowerPoint presentation, you can click on the link there under Take a Learning Style Test. This will bring you to a page where you answer a number of questions and that will give you an overview of your learning style. Once you know how you learn best, you can pick a learning method that suits that style. For example, if you're a visual learner, you will want to write out a word and look at it to see if it is correct. Whereas if you're an oral learner, you may want to sound out the word. But remember, most people have a combination of learning styles, so you may want to both write it out and sound it out. One popular method of learning off spellings is by using the look say cover write and check method using this method you first of all look at the word second say the word out loud or to yourself whichever suits three cover the word and four write it out then check it to see if you're correct this method can be done with a pen and paper at home or online on the internet using the Ambleside website, which is a picture of here on the slide. The address of this site and the link to this site is on the downloadable PowerPoint. You can also create a spelling list. As you work through spellings, you can keep a list you refer back to often to check your spelling. Usually this list contains words that you normally have trouble with, or it could be a list of the most common used words. Also, use a dictionary to look up words. Get in the habit of using a dictionary. When working on words, get in the habit of using a dictionary to look them up. This can be a normal book dictionary or can be an online dictionary like www.dictionary.com. This is also available as an app on any smartphone. Spelling online some good online spelling sites and one that we often use is Spelling City. On this website you can do spelling tests and also if you sign up for the site you can save spelling lists. Some students have found this site very helpful and using it also helps you develop your computer skills. Another link I have at the bottom of the page there is spellingconnectionsonline.com that's www.spellingconnectionsonline.com which is also a good spelling site. When you're attempting to spell a word it may be helpful to break up the word and sound it out. Learning to divide a word into syllables may help you pronounce the word correctly and as a result help you to spell it correctly. A syllable is one of or more letters pronounced together. Example, Canada, Canada, America, America. Another way to learn a long or difficult word is to split them into shorter
shorter, more meaningful sections. For example, meaningful, mean, in, and full. Phonics, the sound of letters, is an important part of spelling. In order to be able to sound out words, we have to know the sounds letters make. We also have to know the sounds letters make when joined together, letter blends. A good website to learn the sounds of letters is www.focusonphonics.co.uk. Another method which a lot of our students find useful is to write out the word, look at it, does it look right? Memory aids. These are devices which will help you remember words that maybe you've learnt before and you're trying to bring them back to your mind in order to spell them. So father, fat and her, contented, con, ten and ped. Mnemonics. Mnemonics is a name which is using letters to help you, using a sentence to help you remember letters in a word or a statement. This is a learning technique technique which aids information retention. For example, to aid the recall of the colours of the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, we use the term Richard of York for a battle in vain. R-O-Y-G-B-I-V. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Spelling rules. When spelling, it is important to keep in mind rules that apply to words. However, don't rely totally on the rules as there is almost always an exception to the rule. And it can become very confusing if you try to remember all the rules. A list of simple spelling, a, s a list of simple spelling guide can be found on this web address. So www.learnenglish.de forward slash spelling. Homophones and homonyms. A homonym is a group of words that share the same spelling and the same pronunciation but have different meanings. For example, tire of a car, tire to get tired. Homophones are words that are pronounced the same as another word but differs in meaning and spelling. A common example, there, 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 and two, two, and three. As in, I'm going to the shop, I'm going to, I'm going to buy two cans of Coke. The trick to learning how to use each one correctly has to do with thinking about the meaning of the word every time you write it. Spelling strategies and technology. Using a spell check. There's a lot of help with spelling now on computers and smartphones. It is possible to type a word and see straight away if it is spelled correctly. On a computer or phone, a red line under a word indicates that it is not spelled correctly. This is usually seen together with spelling suggestions. So on a computer, if you have a red line under the word, place your mouse cursor over the word, click on the right mouse button, and you'll get a drop-down menu of spelling options. You can click on any of those, or the correct one of those, to change the misspelled word. So just to review all of that, beware of your learning style, use the look, say, cover, write and check method to learn spelling. When spelling words, write it down, take a look at it, see if it looks right. Look for words within words to help your memory. Break the word up, sound it out, know the sounds of letters and the sounds of letter blends. On a computer, use a spell check. Beware of homophones and homonyms. Do dictionary work, keep spelling lists, be aware of spelling rules, and use mnemonics, spelling tricks to help you remember words. So those are some spelling strategies.